everyone! Welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 13 of Bannerlord uh, Replay, and uh, we are... Okay, I'm trying to remember what happened. I think we're trying to take Omer, right? Uh, and Sora has given bir birth to a healthy baby. Cool, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, um, hmm... Wait, there is... Why is there... Why is this showing up? Do we have any captives? Oh, we have captives. Huh? No, no, we're selling these guys. I forgot. Uh, I mean... People... Some uh, other group dumped those guys in our... In our dungeon in... Wait, hold on. Uh, let's do trade. And I think we are way overloaded. Yes, because we are carrying a ton of rice. Or ton, not rice, a, a ton of grain. So uh, very likely those are... What do you call this? Um, those are wheat. Okay. Now we need to waylay somebody in Omor, right? Uh, okay, let's come over here. Hopefully we can uh, spot... We can spot uh, one of the rebel leaders. And then, so that's why, how we declare a war against them. Oh, two of them are inside their, are inside the castle. So, okay, there you are. Hopefully, no, 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 don't go in, don't go in. Okay, okay. Oh, he went in! Oh, jeez. You know what? Let's go in. Right? And we can trade. Right? Okay, they have... They do have money. And we have items to sell them. Tapered blade... Okay, do they have any missile, uh, like, throwing weapons? No. Uh, I mean, throwing knives? No. Okay, uh, how about horses? How are they on horses? Uh, where are we on horses? Oh, we have used up most of our... I mean, most of our riding horses, right? So, we can buy maybe six. Wow, we're still a, quite a ways away, right? 33,000 versus... Uh, so we have 150, 177. Okay, that's fine. Wow, all three of them are in here. So there's 535 of them. Uh, and we cannot fight them until uh, one of them comes out and uh, we challenge them so 86 cool yacht so I we ha we are at 240 right uh, yeah ooh there is a, a bunch of uh, looters here I am you know what should we let's save this save it and then let's take on the looters and then hopefully one of those guys will come out and then we can 
declare war on them and take uh, then we can besiege the castle so I want them coming out and start uh, keep recruiting so that Come on, guys. Come on out. See, this; those three ticks uh, under Omar shows us the three lords are inside. When those become two, that means one of them came out. Back off, stranger. Okay, let's attack. Uh, this is not... This is just for renown, because... Uh, most of our troops are already at their maximum. I mean, they're, I think they're level 6, a Banner Lords and uh, Elite Cataphracts. So, yeah, we are not picking up any experience from these guys. Uh, our personal person, our person will do. And our compliance will. But the uh, common troops, the troopers will not. Wow, look at that. That is so grand. And cavalry is the most expensive uh, troop. Which makes sense, right? Because even in real life, we still have to feed the horses. Right? We need uh, to have forage. Um, so not only do we feed the people, but we have to feed the horses too. And that can get really expensive. Oh, wow. No, he didn't. Are they looking lost? Uh, let's look for people that are trying to run away and then uh, we can shoot them from the back. <laughs> Oh, no survivors? Oh, uh, no, no, I mean, uh, we won, we won, okay. So 1.5. Oh, not all of them died. Uh. Okay. So we got some renown out of that one. And I think our character went up. I think we got 200 in terms of leadership. Let us quickly check it out. Uh, I want those guys to come out because uh, if they don't come out, we cannot uh, besiege the castle until, unless we attack uh, the, uh, the village. I think that's us. I think we hit uh, 200 in... Uh, yes! We hit 200 in leadership. And what does that do for us? 5% uh, 50% uh, recruitment rate for infantry prisoners. 10% shared experience for cavalry troops. Oh... Do we want infantry? Do we want range? 10% shared experience for cavalry troops or 20% experience for troops when they're sent to confront the enemy. I think we'll pick, pick, pick this one because as party leader and we basically have mostly uh, cavalry troops, right? But 20% experience for troops when they are sent to confront the enemy. So that means uh, when we send them without us participating. Which, is, which doesn't happen as often. We are not getting battle morale truce, battle morale, what's this? 100% battle morale, ten, share experience for archers. Oh yeah, that's what, wow, that's quite a ways away. That's 250. And we can have a plus one clan party limit. And this one is one companion limit. Uh, battle morale, no. I think this one is better. Yes, we want 
party size. And where do we want to put that, invest that item? Uh, you know, we're maxed out in all the areas we care about. I don't know about... Uh, okay, uh, let's hold off because... Or maybe a roguery? I don't know. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, let's not spend that point. Wow, those guys are not coming out. Come on. Before the Northern Empire comes in uh, and knocks on your door. We might have to actually uh, start damaging a village, maybe? Oh, no, no, let's come into and uh, come into the uh, city and unload the prisoners. Who's this? Oh, the Smith. Oh, I think she is Batanian. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you. This is uh, Armand uh, the Smith. Armand uh, the Smith. We can't use him. I think we we would love to. Wait, wait. Um. Yeah, they have extra money so we can sell items. <laughs> we will never miss an opportunity to sell stuff. Okay, uh, and then we have all of this junk that we picked up. Um, Try to sell the more expensive ones. Because the cheap ones we can donate to our troops when as uh in exchange for experience. Okay, that's done. Come on guys. Or do we what's this? See, we can abuse their the villagers. What's this? A queer offer for Alea? No. Um, our poor sister is uh, slated for. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Quick, get them both, get them both, quick. Your okay, sister. finally. What's your name, stranger? Uh, yes, our demands. I repeat, yield or fight. Okay, all three of them? Yes, all three of them came out. Okay, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, that's fantastic. And they came out as a group. They thought they have uh, protection from uh, from us, but no, uh, they are dead. <laughs> and we will capture all three of them. And of course, that means the the castle will also be uh, reduced by the number of soldiers that they sent out. Okay, uh, I didn't see how many there were. I wasn't checking. I was excited. Okay, I think we need uh, our sword here. Yeah, we need our sword here.
Man, I cannot hit anything. I am... I am so useless. Any runners? I think sometimes having a slower horse is better than uh Whoa. Whoa, what a miss! Man, that's terrible. Ouch. Whoa, he hit us. That guy got a shot in. No, we hit the... Uh you know what? Oh, no, 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 jeez. Any runners? Okay, how many renown do we get? 19. Okay, we'll have to take all three prisoners so that uh, the uh, Omor rebels will be forever gone. I give up. Co Enough. You. Okay. Um, these are prisoners, and how many prisoners can we have? Oh, maximum, huh? Maximum. <laughs> okay. And of course, we get even more overloaded now. Okay, uh, save as. Now, the problem, I think, is that how can we hold on to this uh, castle? Anyway, we will solve that when we get there. <laughs> what we can do maybe is move Break Skull here to manage this and put them into pure festival and whatever. Hold on. What is this? Who's this Dumat? Oh. Uh. Oh, this is the Omer Rebel. I thought we got all three of them. You know, we'll deal with him later on. Since we're here, I think it's okay. Uh, okay, let's save this also in another area. S save this to say seven. 
Okay, anyway, uh, we can run after that guy, uh, but the problem is if somebody beats us to this castle, then we would not be able to siege it. And the Northern Empire is an automatic enemy. Besiege the town. Hold on. Put it, uh, let's put this on uh, pause. Let's build the trebuchets. Right, that's a trebuchet, right? Making sure it is a trebuchet because sometimes I'm so excited when I click, uh, we might actually build the wrong one. <laughs> and that is terrible. That would be, that would greatly impact the uh, the way this thing uh, works. I mean, uh, our ability to siege. Okay. Yeah, we are very low on engineering, so it takes forever to build a siege camp. Nathanos gained a level. So those, there are a couple of, uh, I think they have their, they have a couple trebuchets. Oh, we might not be able to finish this um, this fight here. Our uh, forum building in Varchek is completed because uh, Lorik has escaped from your party. Really? Uh, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Then we will have to pause it. Pause. Uh, move to reserves. Unpause. Yeah, they just they just uh, damaged our That means we'll just have to hunt down those guys. Pause. Move to reserves. Unpause. Ouch. Wow, those are... They're so accurate. I wonder if the damage uh, is calculated on a random basis, meaning uh, it's an RNG, right? Uh, so that it's not always fixed. Pause. Okay, let's put it into reserves. Unpause. Look at that. I can almost feel the pain. Okay, our timer is about to go off, so I guess Monchugra Crusade grants Severe Town to Hur Huruntag. Okay, hold on, hold on. So did Sibir also uh, rebel? Pause. Okay, I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here because our timer is about to go off. So, um, let me see what time. Okay. Uh, okay, and then uh, we will continue with this in the next episode. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!